y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. And today I am doing the long awaited and highly requested video that I should have done years ago, honestly. I'm going to be doing a college apartment tour. That'll include my bedroom and my gaming setup and it'll also include the living room. Though to be fair, there's not much to show, but that's okay, I'm still gonna show y'all anyways. This video is extremely overdue because I am actually graduating from college in the next two weeks, I believe. And I should have recorded this video a long time ago because I've lived here for four years, I think. But hey, better late than never, I guess. I specifically wanna record this video so that I may have the memories for myself. I'm gonna really miss this place. And also, for those who are wondering, I am currently attending Georgia Southern University. I am an IT major with a minor in PR. And I think that's it about my college education that y'all need to know. I specialize in networking. I like I like networks. I also was the president of my gaming club as well for three years. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my apartment. So let's go. So this is what you see when you walk into my room. Please excuse the boxes and stuff here. Nobody lives in that room down there. So I'm currently moving out of my apartment right now. So I've got a bunch of boxes. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm moving everything out of here. But I'll go ahead and walk into my room and show you guys an overview of it. Ta-da! This is where I live. This is where I live. This is where I've lived for the past four years. So I guess first of all, I'll go ahead and give you guys an overview of my room really quick, but there's my closet, some posters, there's my snake, more wall scrolls, TV, my desk, which has all of my gaming and recording equipment, more wall scrolls, curtain, window, chair, bed, more wall scrolls, and my wifey pillows. Obviously. Also, I don't want to blind you guys, but I do have a studio light on right now, but I'll go ahead and turn off so you guys know what my room looks like when it's decently dark. Ta-da! Bam! I love colors. I love lights. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I love me some color. I do want the studio light on so you guys can see me and see what I'm talking about, so I'm going to keep it on just for the tour. Okay, where do I start? I have a couple of wall scrolls here. I have a No Game No Life one. I have a Tokyo Ghoul one. I have an Attack on Titan one with Levi on it, and also a Levi doll on the front. I have this tripod here because that is what I used to record the beginning part of this video. I love this tripod, by the way. It's amazing. Right here we have a little hallway, actually, and uh, there's my yoga mat. These are my two bags that I use religiously. This is my school bag. I am definitely known as the girl who has the Squirtle on the backpack people always recognize me from this which I find very funny and then this is my EGL bag which I use for traveling and I use for gaming and it has a little mini Karibo on it but at the end of this hallway is my bathroom which I will show you guys in a little bit but for now I do want to show you guys this little uh, Legend of Zelda poster which I think is gorgeous also has a little mini flashlight on it and then on the opposite side I have this Sailor Moon wall scroll which I absolutely love poor Sailor Jupiter's not being lit up there we go there we go I love this wall scroll and once again I have another flashlight just just because you never know when the power is gonna go out okay you never know when you gotta you gotta light up the room, okay? Moving on, above my door I have a little Pokemon timeline poster, which is really cute. And then here is my bed. I have two wifey pillows for those who are new to my channel. I do have wifey pillows. This is Kaori from Your Lion April. And she's beautiful on this side and on this side as well. Gorgeous pillow. And I also have Shiro from No Game No Life. I've had her for a while though. But I love her, nonetheless. She's also gorgeous. I don't have a lot of room on my bed, so I kind of have to stack them on top of each other. <laughs> this is a K-On wall scroll. I love wall scrolls. Y'all are going to learn that I love wall scrolls to death because I can't put nails in the walls here. So I just put little, uh, what do you call these things? These little, these little tacks? The little, the little pin thingies, you know what I'm talking about? So I had this K-On wall scroll, which I love. I also had this no game, actually, let me walk over here. I have this no game, no life one, which is gorgeous. It has Shiro inside of a chess piece. And this was actually the first wall scroll that was gifted to me by my friend David, and it is also another No Game No Life wall scroll. And it was the first one I got, so it was super colorful, and it kind of helped inspire me to pick up more colorful wall scrolls. So that's kind of why my room is so bam full of color, was because of this guy. Also, speaking of my bed, I have a little camo, little, little blanket guy. He's my, he's my friend, I guess. I have this little bunny rabbit. I love my little bunny rabbit. And also, a lot of people ask me, what the hell is this behind my pillows? It is a little light. <laughs> This is a Philips Hue Go light, I think is what it's called. It's very portable and you can change the color of it to whatever you want. Uh, I put it in the background of videos and streams so that I can change up the tone of the stream with some more color. Um, you guys will realize that I really love color, so there you go. But I just stick it behind some pillows and it puts some nice color onto the wall and I love it. I also really like pillows, if you guys can't tell. I have lots of pillows because I like pillows. Very squishy. Also, for those who are wondering what this wavy light is on the wall, it's actually this little projector thing right here. I don't want to blind you guys, but it's this little guy right here, and I can change the color from as well. I can change him to red if I want to, and it makes a nice little red color on the wall. I can also change it to blue. I mean green. 
I know my colors. Change it to blue, there you go. Now, this is supposed to be yellow, but that is definitely not yellow. That is green and red, but I digress. It is what it is. We can also change it to a light blue, and we can also change it to a pinky, purple, blue. I don't know what it is, but oh, look, it's my hand. Hello. But for now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn it off. Oh, also, I totally forgot to mention, this is my laptop that I use for travel. It is an MSI GS63VR. Fantastic laptop. I love this thing to death. It gets everything done that I need it to in regards to photo editing, video editing, recording, streaming, anything I need. It's got some major fingerprints on it too, but you know, it happens. I love this laptop to death. I highly recommend it. And now for the probably most exciting part of the tour for you all is my gaming setup. I don't really know where to start, so I guess we'll just start on the on the desk itself. First of all, I do have a DX racer, which has lasted me about half a year, and um, racing chairs are awesome, just saying. But I think I'm going to sell this guy before I actually move out because I don't really need it anymore. I have a new chair coming in the mail. You have to move, Mr. DX racer. Move. So that brings me to my setup. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and... Uh, show you guys this. This is my microphone and my mic arm. I'm using a newer mic arm, which is okay. I mean, can't complain. It, it works. I also have an AT2020 USB on here, and it is a very solid mic. I love it. Whenever I'm not using it, when I'm recording and or streaming, I just swing it out of the way over here, and I don't gotta worry about it. Over here, I have my two scuff controllers, which I love to death. This is the Source scuff, and this is the uh, the Smurf scuff, I think is what it's called. I got this years ago, years ago. So I've had this one for a very long time. I love scuffs. If you guys ever want to pick up a scuff, don't know what it is, it's got paddles on the back. So if you want to press the A button or the B button without actually having to press the front button, you can press these little paddles and it's awesome. Highly recommend that you buy one and if you do, use code SOAR because code SOAR is awesome. And in this corner, I have these elemental shakers, which I love to death, by the way. They are blue, orange, yellow, red, and green. Very pretty, definitely my aesthetic. The mouse pad that I'm using is a Skyrim mouse pad that I got off of Amazon. This is a watch and a pair of glasses from MVMT, if you guys know who they are. Um, they are brands on Instagram and they are awesome. They sent me these for free and God bless them. I love them so much. I wore them to my IT capstone presentation today for college, so made me look very professional and I really appreciate it. I love these glasses too. Look at how reflective they are. Yo, you can see me in there. This keyboard is the SteelSeries M400. It's awesome, it feels very nice, big fan. And this is the SteelSeries Rival 300 mouse, which is also really good. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with gaming mice, so I mean, I like it. I mean, I, it, it gets the job done. I don't have anything else to compare it to, but it's nice. I have my Astro Mix Amp right here, which is used for my headset. Actually, my Astro headset's over there and it's broken, but let's not worry about it. I still use this Mix Amp to control the game audio and the PC audio with my current headset. And the current headset that I'm using is a SteelSeries Arctis 3s. Focus on the logo. Come on, you can do it. My camera really does not want to focus. Hey, focus on the logo. It's not that, it's right, it's right there. Focus on it. Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. There we go. So this is the Steel Series RT's 3s, and they're really nice. I mean, I can't complain. It's a really, really decent $60 headset, and it also has a cloth band, which fits very nicely on my head. As for the monitors I'm rocking, I'm using an Asus one that I got when I was a senior in high school, and then an HP one that's probably from like 2007. This thing is so old. Uh, it, it even has like VGA ports on the back. It is so old, but you know what? It gets the job done. I'm going to be updating the monitors when I actually move into my new place, but for now, not going to... Yeah, these are just going to be... They, they work, okay? You know, they work. I also use the Logitech C920 webcam. If you guys are streamers or video makers in any sort of sense, this is the webcam you all need. I'm not even kidding. This thing is amazing. I also have a little lamp back here if I want to light up my face for my videos. I just point it at the wall. It'll reflect the light and it'll bring it back onto my face while I am recording videos. So this is only on when I'm recording videos or streaming. Besides that, I turn it off because I like all the pretty colors. Also here, I have my Hyper Beast fidget spinner, which if you guys have not seen this, it is a fidget spinner, but it also doubles as a knife. Can I open it. There you go. So it also doubles as a knife and it's really cool. It works as a really good pocket knife. I actually use this to open up all the boxes and packages that I get in my apartment, but uh, I do not recommend spinning this while the blade is open. Don't do that, okay? We're just going to close this up and put it right here. Moving right along, I do have a little Butters Pop because my name is Butters. I also have a, oh no. I also have a tiny Lucky Dragon, which is the MSI mascot, and he is holding one of my chapsticks because I'm obsessed with chapstick and I thought it'd be cute. So I put him on the chapstick and there he is. This remote control is used to control the lights that are on the back of my desk, which I will go ahead and show you guys now. Hello? Do you want to work? Hey, 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 I'm doing a video here. Do you want to work with me? Come on. There we go. I changed it to green. So you can change it to all sorts of colors. Green, blue, pink. You, there's all sorts of colors that you can change to. Even like a yellow green or like a lighter blue. There's so many colors here. I usually put on the white LEDs whenever I'm recording videos to kind of help shine light onto my face. But for now, we're going to make it fade because it looks really cool. Fade looks so nice. It's definitely my favorite light to come home to because just look at this. It's so... Ah, so magnificent. Also down here, I have some cable management tools, which I haven't been able to really utilize at all because... 
Uh, I can't drill holes in anything, and I don't know. I did a little bit of cable management, but I'm going to be moving out of here soon anyway, so, like, what's the point in me doing, like, severe cable management when I'm just going to move, so whatever. This is a pre-built Asus desktop. I know you guys are going to ask for the specs, just letting you guys know. You don't want to know this thing is so old. I got it my senior year of high school, which was five years ago. I don't play games on here, but I do plan on playing games on my new custom-built PC that I'm going to be building when I move into my new place because I have already ordered the parts and they are waiting for me there, so I'm going to make a video out of it too. Don't worry. I have a little Vaporeon and Lithium pixel art little guys, and also I have my collection of G Fuel. Actually, this one's going to be a gift for somebody. This shaker cup and this business card and these couple of sample packs are going to be a gift for somebody, but I do have a collection of G Fuel if you guys don't know. I like G Fuel a lot. Use code BUTTERS. And for those who are wondering what my favorite flavors are, my favorites are Fruit Punch, Rainbow Sherbet, and Grape. Also behind here is where my power surge is, where all my cables are. Um, it's a little bit of a mess. I know my cable management isn't the best, but look, I'm moving out soon, okay? So... I'm not too concerned about it. It's hiding behind the G Fuel anyways. Also, I have my Guitar Hero controller here, as you guys have seen this before. I love playing Guitar Hero. If you guys have not tuned into my streams, I play Guitar Hero a lot. I play on Expert, I play custom songs. Feel free to follow me on Twitch so you can watch me jam out. So moving up here, I have a little monitor stand and I have my PS4 and my Xbox One just stacked here. I wanted to get an HDMI switch, but you know, I'm moving out soon, so I'm not too concerned about it. But if I wanna play an Xbox 360 game, I just switched out my Xbox 360 and I put it right over here where the Xbox One is and I just hook it up. And uh, the wires back here are not the prettiest, I know, but hey. Moving out, you know how it is. Also, these lanyards are from past events that I have been to, except for this one, actually. This is a Georgia Southern one. What are you doing here? But these are all of my passes and badges from past gaming events that I have gone to. This one's a little bit more special to me. It's actually my old service technician badge, name badge. If it'll focus, probably not. Yeah, y'all need to see that, okay? I'm not the, I don't know. Yeah, y'all, you know, no. Moving right along, I do have a dresser here, and I want to say the bane of my existence is this drawer right here because it never stays closed. Watch this. If I sit here and look at see, it opens up. It says, here I am. Hello, I am here. It never closes. If you look into all my pictures that I've taken in front of this mirror, this drawer is always open. But here I have a TV, and I don't really use it that much unless I'm watching some live streams or I'm watching a movie and I'm just chilling on the bed. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, um, here is another wall scroll. This is another No Game No Life wall scroll. And here I have a Sailor Moon poster. And I also have a little Sakura from Street Fighter. Here I also have a Your Lie in April wall scroll, which is beautiful. And over here I have a giant Street Fighter wall scroll, which which is one of my favorites, honestly. But back to the dresser, I do have my wallet here that has all of my random cards in it. I have a little Pokeball, and I have a sore cup because I'm drinking water, and I have my keys here, my glasses, and a protein bar because I do plan on driving up to Atlanta in a bit. And I also keep my router back here. But moving right along, here is my snake. I do have a pet snake for those who don't know. Um, he is in his rock right now, and uh, I would bring him out, but I don't know. He hasn't eaten in a couple weeks, so I'm a little concerned about him. I'm just going to leave him be. But he's a wonderful snake. He's been my little buddy this whole time. I love him to death. His name is Poe. Moving right along, I have my waifus here in the corner. I have Sailor Mercury, Tiny Tina, and Cammy. Got some G Fuel Shaker Cups. I also suspended his cage on top of some books because I have a heating pad under here, and if it's straight on carpet, it'll burn through the carpet, so... This is the best use for a uh, school textbook that you're not using anymore, especially this chemistry one. I ain't studying no damn chemistry anymore. Like I said, I'm an IT major, so I have two laptops, a tablet, and another tablet just kind of stacked here for pen testing purposes. And this right here is my closet. It is a sliding door closet and also has a full mirror, which is so nice. I usually sit here in the mornings and I take some selfies and post them to Snapchat and Instagram and stuff. Hello, world. Hello. Do I want to open the closet door? Sure, why not? I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in my closet somewhat. I mean, it's just some, some shirts, some colorful shirts, because I like shirts. That's all y'all need to see. And also above my closet, I do have a little Pokemon poster. So here is my room, but if you go this way, uh, there's a tiny little hallway, and it leads to my bathroom, which we don't really need to go too into depth about. I mean, it's a bathroom. You know, I've got, I've got stuff. I mean, pff, I don't really need to... Okay. I do have a tiny breast cancer ribbon though. Also, my shower curtain's pretty amazing. It's the beach. And here I have a shelving unit, I guess. At the bottom, I have some tanning supplies. And then here I have a bag full of G Fuel samples. If I'm at any local event, I'm probably bringing this with me and handing out G Fuel, so keep on the lookout for that. I also have another Legend of Zelda hobo bag, which I love. And then here I have my hats. I have a Hyper Beast hat. I have a Black Pearl hat. I have a Glock shooting sports. I don't know why I have this, honestly. I don't even shoot guns. I've got a mom hat, the, the infamous mom hat. I don't know, I've got a random muscle tank top and some colored skinnies in case I want to party. I have a hoodie in case I get cold and I have some pants here. I don't know why. They should be in my drawer out there, but whatever. All right, so that was my room. I think you guys got a pretty good look at it. Um, but now we're gonna head out to the living room. So this is where I go. 
So I head out to the living room, I walk out the door, I go this way, and there's a long hallway. Now I'm gonna be honest, y'all, we don't really use the living room at all. Um, I mean, here it is. It's it's nice. I mean, hey, I've got some Pokemon stuff out here. I've got a Skyrim poster, I've got a Pikachu bank, I've got some Pokemon cards laid out just to add a little bit more brightness to the room. I've got some flowers. Um, I never eat at this table. I have not eaten at this table in two years, I think. Over here, I have a really nice pleather chair, and I have a wall scroll on it, another wall scroll, and a couple of posters because I am president of a gaming club and I wanted to give these away. I have a box because I'm moving out. This TV, I I used to bring to club meetings so people could play games on them. This TV's gotta go. Like, we haven't used this TV in a very long time. It's great for playing Smash, but besides that, nobody's using it, so... I don't know what it's doing here anymore. But yeah, we have a bunch of random stuff. I mean, this is gonna be some donated cans for a food drive. But I do wanna show you guys my pride and joy of the living room. This is my little, uh... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's my little drinking stand. I have a giant Land Shark surfboard because Land Shark is one of my favorite beers of all time. As you guys can tell, I'm a big fan of Land Shark. I got two empty boxes and then another empty box that couldn't fit anywhere. And another thing I love to drink is bourbon. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love me some bourbon. Nobody in this apartment drinks besides me. I am the only person who utilizes this little stand. It's all mine. I take full credit. I love bourbon. I love bourbon. Right now I have some Eagle Rare, some Knob Creek. I think this is a special Woodford bottle. Yeah, look at how cool that is. It's a Kentucky Derby Woodford bottle. I saw it. I was like, oh, I need that. I have a little Jameson bottle here. I'm not really too sure why. I need to drink this, actually. There's hardly anything in it. Then we also have this bourbon, Wathens, Wathens. I actually don't know how to pronounce this at all. I saw it and was like, oh, this is a random bourbon. I want it, so I bought it. It's really good, though. I also have this giant Skyrim mug, which is freaking amazing. I chill this thing. I drink beer out of it, and I really feel like a true Dovahkiin. I also have a flask and a couple mini bourbons, and I also have some business cards in case anybody stops by the apartment and they hear me screaming, like, what is she doing like oh she's a youtuber just take a take a card <laughs> but yeah that's my little drink and stand and I love it there's not really much else to show in the living room I mean it's kind of got some trash and like this is all recycling I plan on taking out to recycle I have some newspapers because I am moving and I want to pack up my glasses here's what the living room looks like with the lights on I mean I honestly don't spend a lot of time out here I spend most of my time in my room so here's the living room and if you go this way this is the kitchen now I'm gonna be honest y'all I don't really cook so this kitchen I hardly ever touch but I do want to go ahead and show you guys this is Definitely something very prideful of mine. I do have a bottle collection up here. Um, it is a couple of like vodka and uh, Canadian whiskey, but for the most part, it is bourbon. Ignore the Jack Daniels, I'm so sorry. But for the most part, I have a bourbon collection on top of the kitchen cabinets because I am a college student and this is all the bourbon that I have drinking in the past five years. I was also supposed to add this bottle, but it doesn't fit up there, but um, I definitely want to do a little something special with my bourbon bottle collection, maybe do a video on it. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And I also have a couple of shaker cups out here just in case I want to get energized. And then over in here I have the laundry room, which I don't really, you know, I don't spend a lot of time in here obviously just to, you know, wash my clothes and stuff, but it's not really that interesting, but I have a washer and I have a dryer. Shall I take you guys on the porch? Let's take you guys on the porch so you guys can see the view. It's not that spectacular or anything, but hey, why not? The lighting here is crazy though, but let's go outside. So this is the back porch. I mean, I don't really come out here at all. Puppy dog. Oh, it's a puppy dog. But I don't really come out here at all. I'm just, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day though. I'll go ahead and take you guys back to my room. So once you walk down the hallway, ignore that stuff, here we are. We're back in my room. So that is overall my apartment tour. I guess I'm not fully moving out of here until summertime, but I don't know. I wanted to record this video because it is a memory sake, and I don't know. I, I love my little college apartment. I think it's awesome. I'm so thankful I was able to spend the last four years here. It was so much fun and so quaint and cozy and colorful. I don't know. I loved it here. So what did you guys think of this tour? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you guys like my room? Did you guys like my setup? Did you guys like my, my posters? You guys like my waifus? Let me know down in the comments below. But I think that's everything I want to talk about. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, please subscribe if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. And by the way, when I move into my new place, just saying, there's going to be a big ass video of me constructing the whole entire game room, battle station, bedroom, whatever it's going to be. I'm going to make a video on it. Don't you worry. Bye bye I'm going to miss my little colorful room. It's so colorful. Look at it go. It means so well. It's got so much color. Look. Look at the color. It's so nice.